guess what's back? Back again. Value packs. Tell a friend. It's back! Coles Values Packs. We're going to run through all the details with you. Let's go. Hey everyone, it's Kelly, the Frugal Fun Mum here in Adelaide, Australia. Welcome to the channel and to today's video where, yes, Coles Value Packs are back. And we're going to break it all down for you and show you what all the prices are and allow you to make an informed choice and decision when it comes to your food shopping, helping you keep your grocery prices low. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining with me today. We are super glad that you're here on this channel. We do lots of budget stuff, markdown shopping, menu, meal plans, grocery hauls, and lots of fun frugal stuff so subscribe because you would love to be part of our frugal fun family and join us for all the things that we do along the way I have videos every Monday Wednesday and Friday with some additional ones on the weekend with a bit of fun and I love giving you guys tips and tricks to help you save money and help with the everyday costs so today we have gone to Coles I've spent about an hour in there photographing everything, price comparison, walking around the store, having a look at a whole lot of stuff. So what you're going to see is the pictures of stuff, the prices of the value packs, then the prices to compare of the other products that are around the stores. Uh, and yeah, you can make your own decision. I'm just giving you all the baseline prices for today so you can see what it is. Because as lots of people have said recently in Facebook groups, these packs do go on sale or discounted down the track. So at least today's video gives you that baseline. And you can also see in comparison today, what are some of the products that they have that are not on sale. So what their like unit price is, everyday price. And what some of their sale prices are because they differ which is quite interesting so some of the prices are smaller in packet and on sale and cheaper than the big bulk pack but if the anything isn't on special then the bulk pack is sort of where the value at so we're gonna go through the products I only have 28 to show you apparently there's 44 in the range my local Coles only had 28 products there, so that's what I filmed to do for you today. If more come out and I get to them, I'm more than happy to film them and share them with you guys, but this is all I had access to today. I have seen other products in pictures in Facebook groups and things like that, so without further ado, let's do the product review. Let's start with the Starbucks coffee. So for a 60 pack, we have 53 cents a pod compared with the single 10 packs for 75 cents a pod. And there's also a 36 pack for 56 cents. If you're looking at any kind of pod, you've got Nescafe here, 10 packs are 62 cents each, or the Vittoria 20 pack, the pods are only 40 cents each. Next up is the Lions Brownie Mix and it is for a 1.2 kilo so it's 63 cents for the 100 grams. Greens Brownie Mix was the only thing on the shelf that I could compare it with so at 500 grams it's 80 cents each. And there's also a Coles Pack again 500 grams which works out to be 50 cents for the 100 grams. The Lion's Pancake Mix is 1.4 kilos, so it's 41 cents for the 100 grams, compared with White Wings, which is 71 cents for the 100 grams. This is the only brand on shelf I could compare it with. Mayonnaise, it is a 1 kilo bag, and it is there for $1.20 for the 100 grams, compared with the smaller bags they sell for 500 grams at $1.40 for the 100 grams. The aioli sauce from Coles is 9.50 grams or 68 cents for the 100 grams, and the smaller one is only 3.50 grams, so 86 cents. The burger sauce that's here, there is no smaller burger sauce to compare it with, so I'm just showing you though, it's still one kilo, so 65 cents for the 100 grams. The chili flakes come in the 700 gram box or a 17 cents for the 10 grams. There's a smaller little packet for 25 grams, so it's expensive at 70 cents 
for 10 grams or a bigger bag of 100 grams, so 36 cents for 10 grams. C, salt is similar, so two kilos, so it works out to be five cents for every 10 grams. And the smaller packets that are here too, 500 grams, but it works out to be the same unit price. The Himalayan pink salt, the same is two kilos, works out five cents for the 10 grams. And there is a Coles packet there in comparison, but it's seven cents for the 10 grams for that. The turmeric comes in 650 grams, so 15 cents for every 10 grams, or the little smaller jars of 25 grams, like the chili flakes, or the bigger packet of 140 grams, so 26 cents for 10 grams, so still cheaper to get the big one. Onto the juice, you get 24 cartons, so it's 6 litres of juice, works out to be $2.25 per litre, and a single litre on its own, not on sale, is $2.60. These often go on sale for 1 litre for $1.07, but you can also get the 6 pack of juice to work out to be $1.47 per litre. Don't forget, you can also get 10 cents off per fruit box that you return in South Australia so a saving there as well. On to the gummy bears and you get a kilo bag so it's 90 cents for the 100 grams or you can get the smaller bags which are 400 grams so it's a dollar per 100 grams so not bad. Onto the muesli bars or the protein bars a big box is 840 grams it's 2.38 for 100 grams or you can get individual five packs for 274. There's mayonnaise here. It is a 1.29 kilo jar so it's $1.16 for 100 grams or the smaller jars are 405 grams so it's 119 cents for the 100 grams. Next is the Magic Noodle Packs, 18 packets in here, so 93 cents for the 100 grams. I compared it with the 12 pack that's on shelf for 864 grams overall, so it's a dollar four for the 100 grams. The smaller packets often go on special, which then do work out cheaper than the bigger 18 pack, but for now, the bulk pack is where the value is at. Next we have a burger pickles. This is a 1.35 kilo jar, so it works out to be $5.93 a kilo. The smaller jars are 490 grams, so it's $6.53 for the kilo. But the Coles have a 500 gram jar, so it works out to be $5 a kilo, and I'm told that these are just as good as the brand name. Moving on to this stock. One kilo container works out to be 10 cents for 10 grams. The smaller jars, which were on special for that weigh 250 grams, were also 10 cents for the 10 grams. They had the bigger ones there that work out to be a dollar 30, but it has for 100 grams, not 10 grams. So this is where you need to be aware of the unit prices and how it all balances out. The bigger peanut butter comes in a two kilo bucket for 83 cents for 100 grams. There are smaller jars that are 375 grams, so it's dollar four per 100 grams. But Coles have an everyday shelf price that is 780 grams jar for 83 cents each. So I'm told it's better to get the smaller ones because then you can preserve the peanut butter. If you open the two kilo one and you don't get through it, then you usually have to chuck it away because it goes off. Dara Lee chocolate bullet 750 grams $1.47 for the 100 grams or for the smaller packs of 250 grams it's $1.96 for the 100 grams. Moving on to the natural lollies they come in a 1.1 kilo bag so 91 cents for the 100 grams. The smaller packs on shelf are 520 grams for 96 cents for 100 grams. The trolley lollies, it come in a one kilo bucket for $1.20 for 100 grams or smaller packs of 150 grams are $1.23 for 100 grams. Marshmallows are a 1.1 kilo packet, so 91 cents for 100 grams. There's a 520 gram pack for 96 cents, but there were the 280 gram packs on sale making it only 89 cents for the 100 grams. 
Milo, this is the 30% less sugar container, one kilos. It is $1.35 compared with the shelf price of $2.23 for the 100 grams. I have shown here a comparison for all the other Milos that are on the shelf with their weights and to show you the 100 gram unit pricing as well. So you can see the different sizes and the pricing. A lot of these go on special, so maybe check in again next week to see what the unit pricing is again compared with what the prices are for this week. Kettle chips, 300 grams, they're $2.33 for the 100 grams, or you can get the smaller bags at 175 grams, and they work out to be $2.86 for the 100 grams. Moving on to the Mega Mix pack of chips, these are going to be so popular. So 60 packs works out to be 20 cents each but $1.32 for 100 grams compared with these smaller individuals, depending what pack they are, there's either 18 packs or 20 packs, they work out to be $1.60 for 100 grams or on average about 25 to 28 cents for the little the panko packs. Panko breadcrumbs come in a one kilo box, so it's 50 cents for 100 grams compared with this smaller pack that I saw from another brand, because that's all I could get to compare it with, was 16 cents for the 10 grams. So as you see, they're only doing 10 grams, not 100 grams. And then compared with the Coles Panku crumbs, they are 91 cents for the 100 grams. So that's all there was to compare it with. We have green lentils here. They come in a 2.5 bag, so it works out to be $3.20 for a kilo. You can also buy them in a one kilo bag, so it's $3.75 for a kilo. And you can also buy them in a smaller 375 gram bag, but it works out to be a 61 cents per 100 grams. So again, they're comparing their one kilo price with their 100 gram price, so you'll just need to have a look at that. Then the same comes in to the red split peas as well. So again, they're comparing kilo prices with 100 grams. Well, I hope that has helped you guys work out what the baseline price are and what kind of on average you're looking out for, what the products are that are on sale, whether they compare and then watching and waiting to see when they come down in discount and where they go. Last year I did a video and I'll link it to here and I bought some of the bigger chalk chips that I show in this video because they eventually came down in price to like $4 a bag or something crazy. So I scooped them up. I think I actually got two packs and one we went through really quick and the second one's still around. And yeah, it took ages to go through, but things like the pancake mix and the brownie mix, I watched them go down, down, down. I've noticed that it's a different brand this year. This is Lions, last year was like Greens. So a few different things like that. And of course, there's a few things that like the burger sauce, there wasn't anything to compare with on the shelf. So they're the things to be aware of. Thank you so much for joining with me today. If you enjoyed this video or I've given you any information that you thought has been super helpful, please give me a thumbs up. I really hope that this has helped you make a decision. Leave me a comment below if there's anything that's at your coals that you didn't see in today's video. As I said, the range is completely different. And if you just want to say, hey, you can leave a message too. And I will reply to everything that's down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. We would love to have you as part of our frugal fun family. You can also join our Facebook group. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.